If you're prophetic, you're probably feeling a wide range of emotions right now. And it's because of the things that you sense in the atmosphere, in the environment. You sense that God is about to do something on a very powerful magnitude to get the attention of his children and the world. You're probably feeling the effects of that right now. And it's hard to express. It's hard to explain. But the Lord wants you to know that it's okay to have a wide range of emotions. What's not okay is to hold them in. What's not okay is to not to take them back to the manufacturer. The Lord made you. He made you to have emotions. There's sensors to let you know that you need to pray about something, whether it's fear, whether it's anger, whether it's anxiety, whether it's anguish, whatever you're feeling, especially if you're a feeler. The Lord deals with um, many of you through feelings. You may have dreams of the Lord. You may have visions, but some of you may sense things through your feeling or the world would call it. I have a gut feeling or that's actually a place in your gut that has sensors and nerves that acts like a second brain. And so when you're sensing that there is a high amount of spiritual activity going on, there's a war going on in the heavens between good and between evil. You can feel that. You can feel it around people. You can feel when things are going on with people. You know that they need prayer. You may not say anything to them, but you can sense that they're going through a battle or even that they're about to go through a battle that they don't even know about. And the Lord may be calling you to pray for that person or people. And so with the Lord, again, the Lord wants you to know that it's okay to have emotions and feelings. Feelings are meant to be felt. Acknowledge them, lay them on the altar and let them exit. Leave them with God. Don't hold them in. They're meant to be processed. And the Holy Spirit wants you to co-labor with him so that you could be able to handle your emotions better, so that you could have more victory and more calm. The most powerful person in the room is the one with the calmest nervous system. You can't have a calm nervous system if you're thinking about the future or the past. The Lord wants you in the moment. He wants you in the present. He wants you to be grateful for what's going on in the present, even if that's just your breathing. So this message is for the people that are sensing all of the spiritual activity that's going on. You're sensing the warfare. You're sensing the activity and the things that are about to go on in America. And God is calling you to pray like you've never prayed in your life. Pray for your families. Pray for yourself. Pray for your loved ones because God is about to unleash some things to get our attention. And he's going to start in the church first. And 2020 was a huge wake up call. But this year is going to be on a whole different magnitude for a wake up call for many of many of us in the church, many of us in the world. And so the Lord is calling you to pray, to intercess, to go into deep prayer. He may even call you into a rest or a deep isolation, but it's it's because of the things that are about to go on in in this world. And so um, if you're a feeler, this can be overwhelming, especially if you're prophetic. Take it to the Lord. Um, emotions are again, emotions are to be you can you can. Um, you can feel them, you can let them be processed, express them, and let them exit. Take them to the Lord so that you can He can restore you and give you His joy and that you don't carry around the sorrow and the burdens. The Lord says, my burdens are easy and my yoke is light. So He wants you to cast those cares onto Him. He wants you to have the joy of the Lord and the strength of the Lord, especially because if you're His chosen vessel, a lot of the world and a lot of even his children that are lukewarm are going to be coming to many of you for answers and prayer. And so he wants you to be strong. He wants you to be prayed up. And he does not want your feelings to be your God. Don't let feelings be your idol. Don't let emotions run you. Bow to God. Give him the emotions and he'll take it from there. I hope this helps somebody. This may not be for everybody, but it's for somebody that is feeling 
the spiritual warfare. Take care.